Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your YouTube Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Um, I was uh, watching a YouTube video about World War II when a friend called and he's interested in getting his ham radio license. There's a large fire in the area, probably 40,000 acres. Likely a lot of houses have been burned and he wants to volunteer with one of the fire departments as a radio operator. And I was encouraging to do that. Uh, during the time we're talking on the telephone, uh, this guy appears on my screen. <laughs> well, that's kind of weird. Um, YouTube is pretty smart in figuring out who's watching and what their interests are. So we continued to talk and it was a long conversation and then this guy appeared again. So when I got finished talking to my friend who's interested in getting his beginner ham radio licenses, tech license. I made contact with hamradioprep.com and uh, discussed with them their theory, how they teach, who owns the company. Um, it is owned by amateur radio operators. Um, the guy who uh, teaches the courses is a ham radio operator. Um, I think they have the right idea and here's why. When you sign in, it takes you to the dashboard. At the dashboard, the three courses are shown. You click on the course that you're taking. By the way, it also shows the uh, percentage of completion in that course. So that takes you back to the course and to where you left off. At the same time on the screen, Jim appears. And Jim goes over the high points of that section in a friendly, easy to understand way. Important words in Jim's discussion are shown in blue. When the words appear in blue, it means you need to pay special attention to what Jim is saying. In the course, there are licensed practice tests. And when you get through with the test, uh, it shows you which ones you missed. And then you can review that question again and uh, read the correct answer and also read the explanation that's provided by uh, hamradioprep.com. It really, really enforces where the mistake was made and the next time you see that question, you're not going to miss it. Um, in my second and third contact with them, because I did look at it pretty hard, I asked if I could uh, offer their course in a YouTube video and they said sure. And to that end, they would agree to a 20% discount, which is pretty good. Uh, the courses aren't expensive and a 20% discount is nice. So um, here's how we worked it out. If you enter my call sign into the discount box, it's just going to be W6LG. They will take 20% off the price of the course. Um, I've looked at others, uh, some just strike me as not being very productive. This one looks like it will get you to the finish line and that's really what's important. You're going to learn about amateur radio after you get your license. So hamradioprep.com, they have a really great success rate. Um, they're nice folks, they've got a guarantee. Um, you couldn't ask for a better, a better way to do it. So again, the discount code is W6LG, and that's who I am. I'm Jim, I'm in Rockland, California. If you have taken the course, uh, put a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. Let me know how it went for you, um, and uh, what, uh, what license did you achieve, and how long did it take uh, as you went through from the beginning to the end with uh, hamradioprep.com? What was the time frame? How many, how many weeks, months, whatever, let me know. I, I'd be curious to hear that. 73 from Rockland, California. Thanks for watching. And here's this guy that kept appearing on my TV screen. I had thought about ham radio on and off for years. I had a friend of mine who recently got his technician's license and it got me more interested. He told me what site he used to um, study for the test. I looked at it, didn't really like it, so I started searching around for other. That's when I came upon ham radio prep. I took the five minute first lesson, it looked not, it looked great. So I signed up for the technician class and I thought it was great with the video and the um, text portion. 
that I could go back and review any of it at any time. And once I got finished with the course, I could take multiple practice tests. And I did that. I took probably 40. And when I got to where I was scoring 90 and above, most of the time, I took the test. And on the first try, right out of the bat, I got licensed and I'm now a technician's license. I recently signed up for the general course and I'll be looking forward to taking the general license probably in the next couple of months. But all in all, ham radio prep was great. It was easy to use, easy to follow, and helped me understand a lot of the stuff going on. Thank you very much, Radio M Radio Prep. Thank you.